Despite the fact that the British media on the day after the celebration of King Charles's 75th birthday began discussing the congratulatory call from Prince Harry, reporting details, Meghan Markle also spoke to the King, Harry, Meghan and Charles agreed on another longer conversation. Carl didn't pick up the phone. Prince Harry did make an attempt to call his father to wish him a happy birthday, but that conversation, according to the Daily Express, citing knowledgeable sources at the palace, was hampered by the fact that Charles had a busy schedule all day. In addition, the monarch harbored a grudge against his youngest son. Indeed, on his birthday, His Majesty did not abandon the usual royal work. In the morning he traveled to Oxfordshire, where he launched his project to redistribute surplus food to those in need during the cost of living crisis. Closer to evening, he held a reception at Buckingham Palace, where he celebrated the 75th anniversary of the National Health Service by inviting 400 midwives and nurses there. Before heading off to an anniversary party where the royal family and closest friends were invited, a well-informed source says the story that Harry was going to call the palace to congratulate his father originally came from people connected to the Sussex camp in an attempt to smooth over the fact that he was not invited to the King's 75th birthday celebrations. But sources say there was no such phone call yesterday, as Harry forgot to notify the King's aides of the time of his call, so they could fit it into His Majesty's very busy schedule. The news of the phone call came as a surprise. Let's just say it, a source told the Daily Express. The Sussexes may have had a willingness to call the King on his birthday, but this was certainly not brought to the attention of the other party in time. Sources said the alleged call took place at an inopportune moment. The king, of course, did not answer the phone during the day while he was busy with work, the source said. He spent the evening with his family and friends, and he did not have a single moment of privacy. Throughout the evening, separate sources went further and said the royal knew Harry was calling, but refused to pick up the phone. There was no conversation on the phone, as there is every time Harry calls his father. Charles waves the phone away, they said. He doesn't want to hear from him until Harry apologizes. Buckingham Palace declined to comment. This is not the first time the palace has ignored Prince Harry for not giving royal aides enough timely notice of his wishes. In September this year, the Duke was denied a stay at Windsor Castle when he arrived in the UK for the Wellchild Awards, and the first anniversary of the late Queen's passing aides told him that the lack of official notice, 60 days in advance, that's the rule, made Harry's desire to spend the night at Windsor or any other royal venue within London impossible to fulfill. A similar case occurred in March, when the Duke of Sussex visited home to appear in court and expressed a wish to meet his father, he was refused on the grounds that the king was busy, and advance notice was required. 